When you think of someone with ADHD, you probably think of a child with good reason. At least some of the symptoms of ADHD have to emerge before the age of 12 to receive that diagnosis. But ADHD can affect adults too. And if left untreated, it can lead to poor performance in school, struggles at work and turmoil in relationships. I talked to a newly diagnosed Metro Detroit mom who says it's never too late to find out if you have ADHD and get treatment. I'm finding ways to like to be there for my children versus my brain thinking about all of the next things to do. Oakland County mother of two and elementary school teacher Jessica Stewart has ADHD. She was diagnosed just this summer. I'm 35 years old and it was something that has been completely life changing. How did having ADHD impact your life before you got treatment? It made things hard. I struggled with school. I struggled with relationships. And Jessica is not alone. ADHD is incredibly stressful. Dr. Julie Brokazewski with Monarch Behavioral Health in Bloomfield Hills says roughly 4% of all adults have ADHD, but symptoms look different than the childhood version. While hyperactive kids may seem to bounce off the walls. As an adult hyperactivity, it might look more like restlessness, um, really like can't sit through a show or a movie. There are three types of ADHD, hyperactive, impulsive, inattentive, or combination. Adults with hyperactivity or impulsiveness may have too much energy, move or talk too much, or have difficulty with self-control. An attentive type, though, is more common in adults and is characterized by trouble focusing, organizing tasks, trouble following instructions, or completing projects at work. A study published in JAMA Open Network shows a 123% increase in ADHD in adults from 2007 to 2016. Research is being done exploring the possibility of adult onset. In many cases, though, the symptoms have been there all along, just overlooked. If you have it when you're a child, you will have it in your 20s and 30s, transitioning to adulthood in 30s, 40s, 50s, your entire life. ADHD symptoms are more often overlooked in girls and women because they're less likely to show hyperactivity. Boys, they tend to show with hyperactivity, whereas girls and females, a lot of it is internal. With her July diagnosis and new treatment, Jessica says she can be more present with her children. She can finish tasks and her brain is no longer racing. She says she only wished she had been diagnosed sooner. But now Jessica is thriving thanks to receiving a proper diagnosis, which requires professional testing and ruling out other disorders. Many of the symptoms of ADHD can be present in other uh, mental health challenges like depression, anxiety, PTSD, even overactive thyroid. Treatment often involves stimulant medications, but they're non-stimulant options too. And psychotherapy is also an important component in helping the newly diagnosed develop adaptive strategies and behavioral changes to minimize the symptoms and maximize function. But that diagnosis for Jessica, she says has been life-changing. I'm sure that would change your life. And it's so important to your everyday, just day-to-day -day things. Without a doubt. She says she can be more present for her children. Her mind's not racing. She says it's offered benefits both at work and at home. I love that for her. And hopefully other people can get the treatment they need too. So, Keenan, thank you for that story. You're quite welcome.